What's up everybody? Welcome to uh, the second edition of the Dooley Diaries, episode 2. And I'm going to take you on a little tour of my truck, as I said last night. Oh, a little bit up close there. This is a uh, 2012 Freightliner Cascadia. Had 45,200 miles on it when I got it. Now has 47,570 miles on it. Yes, you guys can see who I work for. There it is, right there. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we don't run dualies. We run these big monstrous super singles, which is kind of cool. Well, a lot to the outside of the truck. So now we're going to take you in the inside. Alright. Try to get a good shot here. Alright. So basically, I'm sure that, uh, through all the YouTube truckers, you've probably been shown what every gauge is. If you are interested in knowing what gauge does what, let me know. I'll shoot you another video. Basically, standing from behind the driver's seat, let's see a uh, driver's area. Yes, I got pictures of my daughters taped to my dash. I did do some cleanup for you guys. I hope you appreciate that. Because <laughs> it was quite a mess. Alright, starting over here. You have the, uh, the net housing over here. Netting over here. You have uh, storage bin A for the uh, passenger compartment. Sunglasses for the passenger. You have the uh, middle storage compartment. To keep some of the docks up there and this is supposed to be the driver's side uh, uh, sunglass storage but I had him take it out so I could have a CV FYI anybody that needs to pick up a CV right there Midland, I got that for $29.99 at the Pilot. Then you got my storage over here, which of course has all my pins. And, right there people. When you're stuck in traffic and your head is throbbing, it's a lifesaver. <laughs> you got uh, my seals and stuff like that up there. And of course another one. Now this has two different sets of curtains. I'm not going to close them. But this set of curtains comes all the way around to about there. And this set of curtains comes all the way around to about there. Oh, by the way. This is my uh, fix to mounting my camera to the dash. So you guys can get some good footage videos now. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Alright. First off, first off, I'll just fall on my ass, or at least fall off my bunk, and uh, mess up my totally good uh, job that I did on my bed there. Here's an exclusive right here. These things haven't come off since I got the truck. So you guys are getting an exclusive. Right there. Alright. So. As you guys probably just saw a minute ago. This is usually up. My top bunk is usually up. Um, on this side. We have top storage up here. Where I keep my food. This storage down here. Is supposed to be for. Uh, bathroom stuff. I have my backpack that I take to the shower, my sweater when it does get a little bit cold, my dirty laundry basket, and my coat is kind of uh, 
crammed up there on that side that's eventually where my uh, uh, refrigerator will go you got this storage down here which I haven't actually opened till now <laughs> Then you have your bunk heater down here, your same storage basically on that side. This is a pull-out desk. This is my Qualcomm. Pull-out desk. I actually eat here if you can't see all the crumbs. <laughs> my other storage space. Go ahead and put my Qualcomm back up here. This is an inverter you can buy from the company. That's my uh, power strip. And that yellow hose is actually an air hose that somebody hooked up. So I can actually blow this truck out and uh, keep the dust out every once in a while. Okay, now come up here and you got my clothes. Like you guys need to see my dirty drawers and stuff, but uh, it's all good. It has a little mirror. Oh! Wow, well, I'm ugly. Alright. Now. Groundbreaking exclusive number two. Y'all are getting me to climb up on top bunk. They said I never wanted to do again. Alright. Whoa! No wonder. Alright. This is a view from the top bunk. Looking down at the uh, driver's compartment up here you got a little cubby hole and of course the window looking out this handle handle actually comes in useful as you guys can see I have a, uh, a bungee and I wrap the bungee up and hang a trash bag off of it which is actually kind of nice See if I can figure out how to do this without falling off again, huh? All right. And yes, the bed was made till I just fell off of it. I don't want to hear any gruff from anybody. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to go back up. Because I got no use for it being down. I actually think I'm going to leave the, the covers off those windows. So that's it, guys. That's uh, episode two of the Dooley Diaries. Like I said, there's the mount. It's just a basic Velcro. And uh, I'll be able to hook up my... Uh, actually have velcro to the bottom of the camera right now and uh, I'll be able to start shooting you guys videos a quick shot of our yard I don't want to shoot too much of it but you know well yeah safety get out and look I noticed uh, another youtuber uh, 1776 films was mentioning that in one of his uh, videos so I just thought here, uh, here, Matt. That's for you, man. <laughs> we got it taped to our mirrors. Actually, on that one, too. <laughs> but ours isn't, ours isn't get out and look stupid or get out and look lazy. It's just get out and look. So. And, of course, our two boxes. The one down there is my, uh, easy pass. And the one up there is my pre-pass for the uh, way stations alright guys that's it for Dooley Diaries 2 hope you enjoyed and uh, rate subscribe comment and uh, keep watching more videos to come later